This is a quick Zombunity Mud update. CW McGuire Zombunity Mud on GitHub. And so here is the last uh, update that I did. I have now moved banner and chat to a simple data namespace. And we'll see that here. It's very simple. It just has a bunch of atoms that can be changed. No sense having them all have their own namespace. Um, <clears throat> messages to the server are now JSONified, changed to JSON. Previously, daemons would call dispatch on the message on the MUD server uh, directly. And when I switched them to put messages back in the server queue, they were putting them back in as, as maps. And then, but the MUD server expected them as JSON when it went and checked for new messages. So now everybody puts JSON into, the, into this uh, MUD server message queue. I uh, fixed up some JDBC issues, and uh, I had a problem where if I had several daemons that would respond to a nil type, they'd be checked with their filter functions whether they should run, but one uh, one daemon might change the state of the world where previously another nil message type daemon wouldn't run, but after the first one runs, now it will, so its filter will pass. So what I did was I changed it to run all the filters for all the nil message type daemons uh, before anything is changed and then they run and I've got a test for that and then switch to send JSON the menu uh, instead of a vector of strings down to the client uh, which would break the call to the websockets dot send uh, now I send now I send JSON and switch to part 8080 to test my Linux box and then we can see it running so this is a major milestone where uh, the mud is working correctly where you can log in and chat and that's for me, that's one of the first milestones is to get this to be a chat server. The chat that comes to the GUI is ugly. The GUI needs to be updated, but the server is working correctly. So let's get this running. I've got uh, the, uh, the repository on this machine. If I was starting from scratch, I would just do start, and that would dump me into a REPL with the database running and uh, the web server running and the closure script compiled to JavaScript. But I've got the... Uh, database running right now and I've got the web server running you can see it in the background here so I'm just going to do start mud REPL and then I could just run main or I could uh, do what main does myself I could uh, register the daemons and then uh, start the uh, the uh, mud server uh, message loop if I'm just going to run main in uh, zombunity.dispatch main so there we go. The daemons are all registered, and now it's checking the message queue, I think, every two seconds. So if we go back to the web page and we'll hit connect, I can hit connect because I'm connected to eight. It's running on 8080. If it was running on uh, port 80, it wouldn't work on this Linux box. And so now we can see that when we connected, uh, you can see a connection came in here, and then the server saw that connection and then sent off uh, a welcome message, a banner, and a menu to the client. And we see that here, welcome message and menu. Now, the server doesn't know what client has connected. It just sends a menu. So the GUI in the server in the client will be responsible for rendering this however it wants. So we can see that in our menu, we have a login. So we're going to do that first. We'll do login. And the MUD server just responded to that. The, uh, or sorry, the web server responded to that. The MUD server responded. And then the web server responded again. And the MUD server server is done and we got back enter login so we'll hit a we'll see the mud server or the web server respond again the mud server and then eventually we'll see the web server responding again to prompt for the password so we'll type in a password again web server mud server mud server keeps putting messages back in the queue and keeps responding to them and then finally one of the messages tells the web server to kick back login successful so now we'll try a chat chat a b one dog uh, previously it wasn't working with multiple words so let's check that out so the web server receives it passes it to the ser mud server mud server pr continues processing and eventually kicks out some a message to the client and here we have our message parroted back to us as a chat and that's it that's the update for zombunity mud major milestone woohoo very excited and uh, i'll have uh, another uh, code video on some testing I did for making sure that uh, nil message type daemons don't uh, change the state of world on each other before they have a chance to run their filter functions.